Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Goetia 2. So if you haven't been following, uh, Goetia, in Goetia 2, we are this little blue ball named Lucas. We're actually a person, but right now we're kind of a disembodied spirit. And uh, we have to travel to these different uh, areas through books. And we have discovered, I think, this is the third book. So we're in the third book. Um, sometimes we have to go back to previous books to solve other puzzles. Um, so we might revisit some of those in this episode. I guess we'll see. But uh, if you can't tell, right here is water. And then right here is not water. So it's kind of an odd little area. So there's nothing normal about this water. That's certainly not flooding. So it just kind of stops here. All right, so um, when we last left off, we got to this weird area. It looks like Alice fell down the rabbit hole. And uh, yeah, so let's hop into it. Uh, we got all the way down here and then there was, we can't go down further. And we have to, um, let's see. So we can uh, move this chest and the coffer's empty. Um, and let's see. And then there's something to do with this. So they have these different symbols. Um, three seals. I can't get through like this. Is there any way to deactivate them? Hey, Lady Gleaves. <laughs> uh, oop, what did I say? Uh, all right. So, uh, that's it. Where the child was, the book referred to counter seals. So, we will go back to uh, the child that was over here, I believe. I think it was in this map. Alright. And let's go... I think it was this way. And we'll go find... The child. I don't know if he'll talk to us, but we may just have to look at um, things that are here. Uh, famous work is far too delicate to be left in just any hand. So yeah, we already did that. We that we, we opened up this compartment here, um, which has a seal and a counter seal. But as for what we do with it, that is the question. Now, isn't it? Uh, if the answer's in these books, I'm going to need at least a century. All right, let's check the journal. Um, let's look. A portal blocks the entry to the end of this strange room leading to a tunnel. Uh, three seals are carved there. One shines more brightly than the others. The farther Luca goes on the, in on in his quest, the more clues he finds of a centuries-long underground struggle between humans and demons, between attraction and repulsion. Far too many demons for his taste. Agreed. In the library, a box containing different names, representations of animals and seals puzzles Luca. What are they for? Alright, so, um, let's see. So, it talked about, uh, counter seals here. I wonder... If there's anything we can find here. Attributed to a pupil of Hieronymus Bosch. Is, at least there are people in, in this hell here. Um, I don't know. Yeah, this was. these are all just part of the puzzle. And then this was his little drawing. Um, what about what was here? Is there anything to examine here? That may have just been for right there. Let's see. Alright. Is there anything up? Anything we can find in the ghost hunter area? Um, if there's any, see if there's anything new for ghost hunting. Um... So far, it's the same stuff. Poltergeist 324, seriously, they hunted ghosts here. Uh, television's still on, someone's been here recently. Hmm. So it sent us back here, but what for, I wonder? So, let's see. 
I know that the counter sale is maybe we just have to look at it I wonder I mean that should be in the um, codex though uh, what do we got over um, is there anything of use here the ritual to solicit their help differs according to each of the 72 demons. The time, the place, the requirements are essential to the invocation on pain of provoking turmoil and wrath. The seal is generally carried as a medallion, and the choice of material for this is crucial. Copper, gold, mercury, silver. Some medallions even combine several of these elements. Um, and Dromelius, who punishes thieves and returns stolen objects. Dentalion, the elegant man who rules over impossible love. The Sago, Cheerful Disposition and Oracle, uh, Seer and His Winged Horse, Lover of Words, The Forgotten Four of the Pseudo-Monarchia, Demonum, Replaced by Proclus, the Agitator, Who Sows War and Conflict. Um, let's see. What is the next one? Three beasts represent this king and lord of the underworld, the lion which leads him... It lends him its form, the black horse, which is his mount, and the viper, which he brandishes. He seems to have the power of an oracle and to know the secrets of the past, present, and future. He is depicted as having the power to build towers, tear down walls, and disrupt the sea. This leads me to think that Vine seems very able, even weakly, to extend his influence into our world and bring chaos. Um, according to Liber Officiorum, Spiritum, if Vine is associated with or derived from Roin, his power would be even greater. He would be able to build houses, guide quests for secrets, treasure, and love, but also to strike down enemies and consecrate objects. There is several times in collected accounts about him specific mention of books and consecrated objects. The hunger for knowledge amongst many of the uh, demons of the Goetia seems insatiable. And um, the Ars Goetia seems to have so fascinated the erudite that a great many of them have attempted their invocation during recent centuries. This is only logical, nevertheless. Uh, accounts mentioning uh, the demons of the Goetia have multiplied in these last decades. Our era of registers and archives could certainly be the cause, but this doesn't seem to me to be the only reason, considering the amount of documentation that we have on these manifestations. My hypothesis, which greatly disquiets me, is that uh, with the invocations of these demons, we have opened a breach between our world and theirs and aroused their curiosity about us. The seals described as etched, drawn, and painted in hidden locations may be the expression of their desire to enter our reality. If this is the case, how much longer can we repel the legions commanded by the demons of such power? Their only weakness seems to be the seal, which is the key without which none can open the door. Yet it is not enough to destroy them. We must find an antidote antidote, a kind of counter seal to set against them. This presupposes such countless possibilities that is dizzying. Nevertheless, we must act quickly. Time is running out. Okay. Um, and then I don't know if we have anything of use in... These were all for the book puzzle, which we've already solved. And that's the child's drawing. This is what it looked like in the light. Um, I'm not sure if any of those are useful. Um, hmm. Okay. So, let's see. Is there anything over here? Alright. And I can't go down, I think. Oh, wait. No, I can. Alright. Let's down again. Okay, so there's, we, we know about this seal. I can feel a blockage, what's it doing here? So, I don't know what to do about that seal, but, I mean, there is a seal, and I don't think we can do anything with it yet. We got this pickaxe here, but I don't know what we can do with that. So, let's see. <clears throat> Is there anything of use here? We may just need to go back and look in the other area some more. Let me check the map again. Um, is 
So we got pickaxe in the room we're at, and then uh, the drawing, that's what that icon is, in the big room to our northeast, and then there's an infrared ra uh, reader. Okay, so I don't think any of that is useful, but I want to go, I want to try going back here and looking around some more. Maybe we can do something with this. Three seals. I can't get through like this. Is there any way to deactivate them? So, counter seals. What can we do? So, hmm, maybe I have to find the counter seals here? I wonder. Is there anything to find? Let's check around. Okay, oh. Let's see. What is this place? It's like an in-between. Alright. Dropped my little cover. Alright. All right. Anything else? I think I looked at this one. Usually I have appreciated the beauty of this space, but here it just gives me the creeps. I can't do anything with it besides just look, I believe. Uh, I don't even understand what this is about. It's as clear as mud. Right. Anything. What was up through the water? Do they have like a map or something here? I can't see it properly. The water's cloudy. It's a map, but what up? And then the ladder. I knew Venice was sinking, but not this much. How far does this go, and when does all this date from? Alright. Let's go up. Uh, you've been screaming into nothingness for a long time. So we just got that layer of water there, just like, kind of hanging out. Okay, so the vegetation's taken root here, but how with so little light? Can I go up? No. Nope. Can only go over where we've been before. Alright, so we may have to look here for our answers. What do we got? So Okay, so I wonder how we interact with the, this box. Do we just have to match? Maybe we just have to match. I don't even know. We're just going to start pressing things and see what happens if it resets. We probably have to match up the specific counter seal with the specific animal. Or we just have to randomly click everything. I found the demon that's blocking this door and his seal is on the stand. But what am I going to do with this now? Okay. Well, that was quite an accident. I won't complain. <laughs> Alright, let's take this stamp down. I bet we can put the counter seal onto the glowing seal. That will be the first thing we try. I don't know what that puzzle was supposed to be. It was just like, click everything. <laughs> All right, so what can we, can we interact? Um, can we, can we stamp this? Three seals, I can't get through it like this. Is there any way to deactivate them? So what exactly are we, Possessing, we are possessing the not the coffer. We are okay. I'm gonna have to move the coffer. Move the coffer over here. All right. Oh, I just want to look at you right now. Let's see. Oh, I can't even look at it. Okay. So how can I? use this. Oh, 
I couldn't stamp that one. Maybe that's gonna... Yeah, so that doesn't work. Hmm. Alright, let's look in the journal, see if it gave us a hint about how to... No. No new hints. So, we got... We got the stamp, but I'm not sure how we end up using it. Are we able to use it on the coffer? No, probably not. Okay, so maybe we don't use it here then. Maybe we gotta use it somewhere else. Where would we use it? Um, so I don't think we can take it out of this area. I don't know. We could try. We could certainly try and see. That'd be kind of surprising. <laughs> Alright. Um, can I maybe... Oh, okay. Just have to counteract one of these guys. Okay. So what happened? I don't even know what I did. Where am I now? I don't believe it. Okay, so I had to uh, counter seal one of the paintings. All right back. Uh, I am inside an engraving in the drawing. I have to get out of here. Lion, horse, snake. Is it a is it mine? So he exists. Where is? I don't see. I guess the lion is riding on top of the horse. Okay, what's this? An attack or a defense? Maybe. Hmm. I have no idea what this means, but it's not here by chance. Nothing ever is. There has to be something to do, but what? Um, okay. Can it? Oh, okay. So I can do what? What can I do? Nope, that doesn't work. Can I use the cannon on him? Maybe I need to use the cannon. Oh, I don't want to exit. Let me go back in. Uh, oh, uh, let's go back in. Maybe I can use the cannon on the seal without exiting. Nope. Okay, what about... What else can I interact with? On the sky? No. Alright. Can I use the sky on something? No. Oh, I can't. Okay. Can I use the storm cloud on the castle? Can I select the castle? What all can I... Okay, so we got the sun. Alright. What all can I interact with? Um, the storm cloud. We can interact with the sun. We got... Can I shoot in the cloud? <laughs> what else can we click on? Oh keep accidentally exiting. I don't like that. Ew, stop making me exit. So, so far we can interact with three things. Can't do anything with the sigil. Oh wait, I can do something right, right around there. What was that? There. Oh, that was the sun. Okay. So, we can turn the sun on to the castle. But I can't. I wonder if there was something in, in the codex that said anything about this. Um. Where was the ones that mentioned vine? Um, the power to build towers, tear down walls, and disrupt the sea. Okay, so maybe, okay, so build towers, 
tear down walls, disrupt the sea. Hmm. What would build towers be? Disrupt the sea. That makes sense. Hmm. What would build towers be? Like, I can click this. I don't know. Um, tear down. Disrupt the sea. Interesting. Now I can't turn this on. Oh, there we go. Hmm. Okay, so can I somehow... What else can I click on, I wonder? Is it just those three items? It doesn't seem to let me click on multiple ones. Or at least not the ones I've tried. Let me try clicking the storm next. Nope. Storm first, and then sun. Nope. And this will probably be the same. Okay. So, what do we click on? There's nothing down here. What's this? There's this, is that just the storm? I mean, there's this. What else is up there? Can I just... Okay. So I can turn it off with that. Maybe I have to click very specifically. I don't know. So this has got to be the... Okay. Let's go ahead and exit out of this one. Maybe we can activate another one with this camp, I wonder? I don't know. Let's take a look. Let's see. Can I activate a different one? Nope. Um, I think it'll only let me do that one. This one... All I can do is go into it and try and interact with it. Like, what do I do? Okay. What else do we got in the codex? So we had that one. Um, that's just talking about the power to build towers, tear down walls, dress, disrupt the sea. Oops, skipped one. Um... Build houses, guide quests for secrets, treasure, and love, but also strike down enemies and consecrate objects. Hmm. Um, is there anything else that mentions Vine? Okay. So, no, not really. What? Did I write anything in the journal, I wonder? Using the ink stamp, Luke opens a portal and is thrown into an engraving where Vinia seems to dwell. How can he get out of there? Was there anything? Let me look. Um, uh, this. Did it mention any of them? In, did it mention Vinia in this one? No. That one does not mention him. That's The third one is the first one that mentions him, but not super helpful. All right. Let there be light. So what do I do with that? That is a question. Can I? Can I shoot the castle? I cannot do so. Up. Uh, the. Up. Uh, okay. It just appeared. I don't know what I did. But okay. Aha. I'm just throwing it into the ocean, I guess. Or maybe I'm throwing it into the... Into this... I don't know. I clicked around here and it randomly disappeared. Maybe I can click it. Aha. Okay, I clicked it up there. I had to put the sun. Maybe it was like putting it into opposites, I wonder. So what's this? It looks like a seal, but it's not the same as vines. Is this his counter seal? 
If that's what it is, I have to bring it back somehow. I could use it on his real seal if it works. Okay. So, how can I bring it back? Okay, so just possess it. Alright, what did we just write in our journal? Uh, Luca manages to drive Vinia from the engraving, thus obtaining his counter seal. He returns to the library. The engraving is no longer active, but it can be possessed. Okay. Um, so, is that the one that was activated on the bottom of the water, I wonder? I can't take this in the water. It'll wash off. Okay. So we can't go this way. Can I use it? Um, can I do something with the pen? Can I? Nope. Um, can I stamp it? No, nope. it's one or the other. Okay. Or maybe not. Let me try moving it over here. Let's possess the stamp. Can I do anything with this? No. This is definitely one or the other. Okay. Um, can I take it through the portal? Let's see what happens. Can I take it? No. It does not appear so. What can I do with this? Alright. Uh, um, this was just, that was that. One of the books I already read. Um, can I do anything with any of the other paintings? No. Maybe the, maybe I have to somehow get the water to go down. I would, oh, I know, I know what I do. I know what I do. I gotta go get the coffer. The empty coffer. And then I bet I have to put it in the coffer. And then I should be able to take it down. I bet you that's what you do. Let's go see. Let's go snag that coffer. Uh, was it over? Yeah, it was over and down. Alright. Whee! Let's go get it. Right there. And then up we go. To the return journey. Alright, because I bet the coffer will keep it waterproof, and then we'll be able, if that that's, makes sense, then we'll be able to use it on the active seal, I bet, and then maybe we'll have a new area. Alright, let's see. Can we put it in here? Okay. Ah, we could. Great. Now we should be able to put it in the water without issue. Yes. We're so smart. <laughs> we just have to derp around for a little while and then we'll get it, finally. Alright. Now we will... Oh, don't get caught. I guess I'm going to have to navigate it. Okay, so right here. Now, let's see. The chest looks watertight enough to protect the engraving, at least I hope so. The coffer is empty. Okay. So. Wait, did I not put it in there? Am I. I really am a, a doofus. Alright. So back up we go. Whee! Back and forth we go. I'll figure out how to do this eventually. actually get the painting and the engraving in this time maybe that would be great instead of just leaving it sitting here right where did it go all right where did it go copper is empty okay I'm confused then did I I hope I didn't bug out the game again that would be very disappointing if I did Let's just go back down and see if maybe we can interact with it. Maybe we took it out and didn't realize it. We'll go look. Alright. Okay, so I don't 
see it, but maybe... Okay, well, okay, so, but we did it. <laughs> it was a little janky, but we figured it. One of the seals has disappeared, but there are still two left. How do I find the others? Think. Okay. So we got it. Okay, yeah. So we got that counter seal. Yep. And then there was one. Yep. Those are the two. Okay. Okay, so. Now, how do we counter seal them? I wonder. Can we. I wonder if that was enough or if we have to. Uh, actually go there. Okay, so let's Before we leave I want to go back up and Check the other paintings. I don't think we'll be able to do Like the engraving was probably just for that one. We'll probably have to go revisit the other seals uh, In the other two books to figure out how to counter seal them but just for uh, just to be sure I wanted to check here okay so it looks like that may be the case so let's go ahead and let's visit this one first so we'll go over to the room with the pickaxe I believe is where the seal was should be down from here and let's go check this out I can feel blockage what's it doing here so okay what can we do about that can I do anything with the pickaxe I want to just like break it <laughs> nope okay so how how can we do something with that let me move this out of the way wait Okay, um, so what, let me look in the journal, see what we wrote. So, Luca manages to use Vinia's counter seal on the portal and to open one under the library, but also two others situated in a cellar and in a canal, which lead to the island. All right to open this one under the library but also two others situated in a cellar and in a canal. So we opened those? Does that mean stuff that was blocked is no longer blocked I wonder? Um, okay. So I can go down. Yeah. That one was blocked. So awesome. So now we have a new area. What are we even looking at? What is this? Okay, I just had a... Okay, where are we going? We're going... Uh-huh, so we're in a new area. What do we got here? It's very odd, deliberately placing the seal here. Who did that? Okay, and then we got... A duster. Well, there's certainly no lack of dust. Okay, so I don't know what we'll do with a duster. Um, I recognize this passage in this canal. I'm still in Venice. And yet, what do we got over here? Um, that certainly belongs in a storeroom. And I wonder what this control is for. Maybe a ventilation system? Oh, I wonder if we're able to clear out the air in the other room in this area. Let's see. It doesn't seem to be on. Okay, let's follow the line. Let's see. Oh. What is this? The duster has been used to plug up this air duct. That's pretty makeshift. Oh, okay. I see. Okay, so can we turn power on? Okay, we got another seal here. I remember some of the elements of this symbol. Have I already seen them somewhere else? So that we can possess. I, I have seen it, I think. But we'll just leave that here for this second. 
This is just paperwork, nothing useful. And that is a plan of the electrical system. And notes to redirect the current. Who did this? Okay. So, ah, you can operate the electrical system from here, but how do I, uh, how do I use it? Okay, so... Oh, let's, let's see, what... Uh, how can I... We want to do... Huh? The storehouse we don't need, right? Or can we turn it off? I wonder if we're able to... We want the basement on. Are we probably not able to do that let's see no that can't be that your calculations are wrong Luca okay so can we I wonder if we can turn off let's see well, we want the basement the basement definitely needed it can we turn off the storehouse okay so we can do that all right well, we'll see what that gets us in just a moment. If I ever need batteries, crimping pliers, or a menu from the local pub, this is the spot. Sounds like a typical junk drawer then. Alright, uh, the map, according to the map. Um, okay, so this just kind of leads. Um, okay. And we, we can go down. Let's see what's down. Oh, a statue with holding his own head. I'd ask him for some help, but he doesn't look like he's got a good head on his shoulders. Alright, what do we got here? The ventilation system goes down there. There must be something underneath. Okay. Um, don't mind me, I'm just passing through. I see you peeking out there. Alright, and then this... Oh, an elevator. Where does that go? Alright, can we still go down? What goes... What is down? Uh huh. It's impossible for all this to exist under Venice. Not the Venice I know, anyway. Wow, it's like a... Big, giant cave. Some kind of tree. These lights are beautiful, but they're not like anything I've ever seen. Where am I going? Yeah, this is like another world. <laughs> Aha! Yeah, another seal. Okay, so now that time, this is where we can deactivate this seal. Okay. So I wonder if we need that page that we found before. Will it be that simple? I don't know. We may have to activate... Um, like the elevator or something like we may not be able to bring the page through the floor let's see yeah I can't bring it down so let's see where I can bring it okay so I can bring it down here let's see all right um, and I go down from here is the question. So, does not look like it. So I may have to figure out how to get the elevator working. Hmm. I don't know. Well, let's... I'm going to keep looking around. Maybe I'll be able to, like, record... Um the sigil somehow. And I wonder what I do with this. Like if there's anything I can interact with. And I probably can't plug back the hole. No? Okay. And I don't think there's anywhere I could take it out of. Nope. What about can I interact with the sigil? Nope. Well, what about here? Can I... Nope. Can't do anything with that hole. And... Yeah, so nothing to interact with with the dust drag. Let's see what is... If there's anything else... 
Oh, well, now it's got power. Oh, okay, because, yeah, I gave it power. That makes sense. But I can't get out of this area. Okay, so that's fine. We'll go ahead and go up for now. But at least we know where one of the areas is. We might be able to go to the other uh, sigil and do a similar sort of thing. Alright. So, see, I thought this would be the basement that would clear the ventilation, but apparently not. Is that the sigil? Hmm. No. Alright. Um. So we can definitely go down some, then we get blocked by the red stuff. So let's, let me check the journal with that real fast. Um, yeah, I don't know what to do with the pickaxe. That confuses me. Because I don't know what I could interact with. It doesn't seem to be anything immediately here, so it may be something that we have to come back later and interact with. So I don't think I can pickaxe the sigil. Yeah. And that's the cloth that was... or the glass shard. That was the glass shard. Oh! Oh, that's new! That is definitely new. Some scratches in the wall. There must be something on the other side. Okay. Good. Uh, wow. Wait, uh, what's this now? This is crazy. What's this room for? And this column, the seal, it doesn't tell me anything worthwhile. Oh, Luca, this is just my own little private airport. Viewer, what are you going on about now? Well, now, let us say that I, too, have need of sundry portals in order to interact with this world. But I recommend you do not take this corridor. You would not have the correct credentials. I wouldn't have a ghost of a chance. Ah, that was a good one. Oh, dear. Dear Loka, please, uh, I'll leave you to your investigation. I can tell you're gliding through all this. Do try to keep your spirits up. We don't like your dad jokes. Alright, what is this page? Uh, looks like a code, but how do I decipher it? Okay, so we actually had another sheet with all the letters on it. Um, I wonder... Okay, so... I don't know exactly how we would translate it. You see GQ... Yeah, there's no... Okay, so maybe we don't have everything we need to to mess with that yet. And that's viewer seal, if I've understood right. And the door. To what? Wow, we're just discovering all kinds of stuff today. We've already un uh, unleashed one seal. Um, can I... I can't do anything else with that right now. Okay, but I've got it in the codex if I need it. So that's good. Um, I guess that's sort of what the, what the pickaxe was for. Hmm. Wonder if I wrote anything in the journal. Nope. Um, so maybe the pickaxe comes in later with uh, um, viewer seal, I wonder. Alright, let's go check out the other uh, sigil and see if we can do anything with that one. Uh, here, water. Is it raining? Uh, it is raining. Um, broom sponge, spirit level brushes, uh, spatula, looks like everything you need for a dig. Alright, uh, this is good old fashioned DIY equipment. There's nothing better. I still use these a lot. And this is, what is this? Oh yeah, this is, um, seems reticent to damage what he calls 
seal. Okay, yeah, because there was a seal on the on the ship under the water. All right. Let's see if I can remember where that's at. All right. Over. Can we go over? I think we also unlocked an area here too. I think. I don't remember where. Let's see. But there was stuff blocking here before somewhere. But let's go check out the seal and see. If, I think it was under the seal. I think it was down from here. Yes. So that is now deactivated, right? What's this now? A seal? Alright, so that one is deactivated. We can now finally go down. So we'll have another a zone like we did before. Alright, more areas to explore. Huzzah! Alright. What do we have here? A chalkboard. That's always useful in the library or what's left of it. And we can possess it. Ooh, a book. So we have a camel. That looks... Okay, so we have a camel with some kind of lady riding on it with duck feet. Alright, so this must be... This looks very similar to that other page that we saw. Payman. It looks like his seal. But the sign underneath. Death? An antidote? A code? Okay. What do we got? Uh, mushrooms. On more mushrooms. There won't be much left to read here soon. Alright. Uh, bathtub. I can't even imagine a time when it might have been nice to read here. Do we have anything else? We can't go over. Um, the water is probably going to make carrying anything difficult. Probably. I wonder... <gasps> What I could do. What was. Uh. Did I just boost my chalkboard? I hope not. I need to find that chalkboard. I don't know what I even did. Okay, phew! I almost had a heart attack. I just dropped it right down the hole. This looks like the entrance to a temple or an ancient building. Am I going back in time? Alright, so I'm going to grab my chalkboard and go back up with it. Let's see what we got while we're exploring. It looks like eyes in this rock. This can't be beneath Venice. Alright, um... What, what's over here? Uh, too much water. Aqua class? What's been going on here now? Okay, did I skip anything up here? Okay, no. But that was not what I wanted to do. I wanted to look at that book. Okay. So I can't do anything with that chalkboard and the book. That's what I wanted to see. So we'll go ahead and take the chalkboard down for now, instead of dropping it down two floors. Alright, what can we do with it? But we could still go over, I think, after, I think we could still go this way. Alright, um, I think I'm going to go ahead and just drop the chalkboard for right this second, explore around. Uh, literally drowned in literature. These books are ruined. Okay. Everything has moved here as if there were a current. Well, you are underwater, so probably so. Um, is it dry beyond there? It can't be an air pocket. It looks like a wall. Yeah, that's weird. It just, like, randomly stops there. Bet you we need the chalkboard in the dry area.
All right, what do we got here? Somebody's work stay drive. Was that on purpose? And this is a amazing. The chalk still works. And what seal do we have here? Okay, so we have this one. All right. So can we do anything? Can we interact with the chalkboard, I wonder? Oops. Well, I might as well try to draw this seal. All right, so we have drawn the seal. Can I counter seal it? Or am I just literally drawing that? I didn't expect it to work on the first try, but is the wall still glowing? But why? It's not reacting to my presence, but maybe to what's left of the counter seal? There's something down there near the door. Something down there near the door. Um, down where? Hmm. Where is it reacting to? Uh, what's right here? Okay. Uh, what do we have here? We have all these different sigils. What do we even do with it, I wonder? Maybe we need to get the chalk and interact with it. Okay, uh, do we still have the chalk or did we use it? We may have used it. What is this? How, how can I do something with it? Oh, okay, so I can move it. Okay, okay. So maybe I have to build the co the, uh, the counter seal. Let's see if we can find it in the book. So it was this seal, right? Let me see. That's the seal, right? Yeah. So, oops. So, let me see. So we want like looks sort of like a curtain almost like a curtain rod so do we it's sort of like that one uh or unless we're supposed to figure out like if this is a pattern but that seems very random i am going to see if i can't do something with this. And then it had the hanging things, right? Um, okay. Uh, then what else did it have? I, let's see. Did it have these thingies? I don't know. What if I drag them all here? Probably not what it wants. I can remove the ones I don't need, I'm sure. Okay. So let's... I don't think I can drag... Oh, I can't. Okay. So I can drag all of them. So... Can I make the counter seal? Let's see. It, I don't have anything with the two rods at the end is the thing. With the circles at the end. Hmm. But maybe it doesn't have to have the circles at the end. Like maybe... Maybe that's okay. But I know it has the little loop hanging down. And then the two little loops on the side. No idea if that's what I'm supposed to do, but let's give it a try. So the loops face out though. It's like opposite. So I don't know. Like they're not going the right direction, I feel. 
Hmm. Uh, unless it's just supposed to be like a. What will that even do? I don't think that will be right. Am I supposed to build the seal itself? That that would be. Let's see. What does the journal say? The stones around the portal begin to glow when Luca draws near with the slate, as if they were reacting to the countersill, even though it is partially erased. Something is trying to guide Luca towards a solution to this riddle. Why? As he continues to... Okay, so... Do I need this chalkboard to interact with this? No. Okay. So... Maybe I just have to build these. Like, maybe I'm thinking too hard. Um, Cause that would give this one, sort of. I need a bar, though. No. Um. So I'm curious, these different shapes can build a different seal, apparently. Alright. But I don't see any way to build just a straight bar across. So that one probably not supposed to do. I imagine it's just a different one altogether, to be honest. But to what one? Because you can't really build the one that I have a picture for, right? Because that, I don't have the right pieces for that. I don't think. Because I definitely don't have, oops, I definitely don't have like, um, circles at the end. There's no piece with circles on the end. Alright, what happens if I try and do this? Uh, what about this? Okay. And there was one what if I do this? So that sort of gives me a thing. Not the right shapes, though. They all have this shape. Like, all three of them. The second one is a lot more elaborate than the first one. What if I have to be elaborate on this one? I know it's not put them all up there. Well, right? Because we put them all up there and that didn't work, right? Or maybe we only put the ones with stickers on. I'll just... Oh, okay. I love how I just randomly start tracking them and it works. These puzzles don't make a lot of sense. Alright, so a demon resisted with a puzzle. Not bad. But a bit too easy. Nobody here wanted to deal with Paimon. Is there any reason for me to open this door? Well, anyway, it's open. Might as well keep going. Nice. Alright, so can I go? Let's see. That erased that one. Um, can I, can I do anything with this now? No. Um... Alright, so did it open something up for me? I don't think I can go that way. Um, yeah, I still can't go that way. I wonder what I did unlock. Hmm. What does the journal say? Um, beneath 
uh, beneath the library, the cellar is partially flooded. All right, the water stops bizarrely as if, as though held back by an invisible wall. Luca finds a new portal in the air pocket. He still needs to find the counter seal and bring it here. Okay, so we did that. The stones around the portal begin to glow when Luca draws near with the slate as if they were reacting to the counter seal. Okay, I did that. Using the board and placing the carved lens in it in the right order, Luca manages to activate Paymon's portal and open a new entry. But did I? Yes, I'm not aware if I did. Where? Where is this new entry? I'm curious. Can I interact with the puzzle anymore? No, I can't. Okay, so I don't know where this new entry is. Uh, unless it's like... Unless I miss something, I don't know. Seems like it's still blocked. Let me try going back. Maybe if I left and come back, it's like magically fixed. Shh, shh. Okay, but I can't go this way. So something is still blocking this way. Alright. Um, so I don't know how to unblock those two. That one was neat. They're not even glowing. That's the crazy thing. Alright, um, hmm. Okay, well. Um, let me try going up to the question mark area, just, just for giggles. Maybe I'll find something there. Because I'm sure not seeing a doorway open down there. Unless I have to open more seals. Possibly. See, this one still looks blocked. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know that anything useful was opened here. Um, hmm. Because these are all red ones. And I bet the red ones are all the same guy. Alright, um, where do I want to go try now? I'm just going to, I guess I'm going to go check here and see if there's anything here. Did I do anything new here? No, there's, but see, I unlocked her. And I still can't go down here. Three seals, I can't get through like this. Is there any way to deactivate them? So, I have deactivated one of them. I don't know. Maybe there's something else I'm supposed to do with that. Like, maybe... Um... Alright. Can I not teleport from here? Okay. Oh. Oh. I mean, I was stuck in a dialogue. Let's see. Okay, now I can. <laughs> Alright. So. I don't know that I opened any kind of a door. But I'm going to go see what happened to the seal, anyways. Some interesting sounds. Alright. Let's go down and check it out. Okay, so was this our seal? What's this now seal? So nothing nothing new there. Um and I don't think there was anything else. I don't know. I don't feel like there was anything else down there. Let me go, I guess I'll go do my due diligence and take one more peek. Just in case I, like, missed something. Let's see. Because maybe 
there's some door open now that I've left. Uh, water's gonna make anything, carry anything difficult. Alright, so we went through the water. That's nothing new. That's the eyes and the rock beneath Venice. Looks like an entrance to a temple or an ancient building. Am I going back in time? Yeah, that door is not open. So what did I open? Unless it was just one of the seals. Uh, yeah. So I don't even know. Because I can't go this way. Confused. And the journal doesn't say anything, right? Um, open a new entry. A new entry where, though? I don't see anything on the map. Maybe I can't do it until I unlock the red. Like, maybe? Where have I not... I haven't done anything in the other area. Like, I haven't unleashed a seal here, I don't think. Right? So let me go check back here. Maybe now... Maybe somehow I did something in this one. Let's go check it out and see. We went down before, right? Okay. Okay, let's go to this area. Did we open anything new in here, maybe? Um, so we still haven't done anything with this stuff. There ought to be something we could do with the duster. So let's see we can figure out what to do with the items here. Okay. So, we have... Uh... Elevator, where does that go? Okay. Wonder. Okay. Uh, wonder... Are we able to get the paper through the ventilation shaft? Maybe? Like, that seems like a bit of a stretch. But, are we able to? Ah. Okay. So, now can we go... Will it send it down here? Let us see. I imagine if it did, it'd be up there. So it probably hasn't come through yet. Maybe we have to stuff it back up with the... We may have to stuff it back up with the dust rag, or possibly um, we may have to mess with the computer again. Let's try this first. Let's see if we're able to like maybe get some more pressure. If we... Okay, so we can't do that. Where was the computer for it? Let's... I think it was over here. Okay, so where can, can we... Are we able to interact with it again? No? Alright. So... Maybe I have to go in the vent after it? Let's see what it says. The duster has been used to plug up this air duct that's pretty makeshift. Okay, um... Maybe we have to plug up the hole down below. Because maybe the air is seeping out right here. Maybe? Or... Mm, let's see. Can I do anything with this? No. Okay. I feel like... Let me see if I wrote anything in the journal. Um, which one are we on? Um, 
I like skipped one. <laughs> Made an island. Okay. Hmm. So I need to. I'm sure there's something to do with the dust drag, but what I couldn't say. The elevator doesn't seem to do anything, and I feel like the seal should have come out here. So I'm not sure unless it like went out and has fallen way way down but I don't think so because we just looked all right so we still have this counter seal but where can I do anything with the tree now like will it say anything new nope 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 all right so the paper I put in there, and I know it's going to have something to do with the dust rag. Like that just seems to make sense. What are we doing with it? I wonder. Can I re-clog it up? Can I come over here and do anything? Like maybe I need to bring the dust rag over here and do something. Um, all right, let me get the dust rag. Maybe the only thing we were supposed to do is unclog it. Like, that's always possible. Maybe I have to hit the power. Okay, okay, yeah. So all I have to do is follow the paper now. Awesome. I got it. It should be down here then. If I'm right, it should have spit out right here. Yes. Nice. Now, we can go down here to the seal. And, let's see if we can... Aha! We have deactivated it. Nice. And here's one more door opened and one demon less. Awesome. So we still have hers. What all have we written in the journal? Um, uh, as he continues his journey, Luca reaches a new portal engraved with a new seal of another demon. But which one and how can he open this passage? The stones around the portal begin to glow when Luca draws near with the slate. Okay, so thanks to the counter seal he found, Luca can open person's portal and gain access to an extremely strange place. Alright. So what is down? Apparently it's an extremely strange place. No way. Oh my, what is this place? It was already completely crazy, but this is getting more and more surreal. I don't want to stay here. I'm not alone here, but it's not like the others. Perhaps they can help me. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Oh my. This is... Weird. All right, so we have a ghost here. Can we talk to him? You're not from here. There's no one here. I'm looking for answers. But you haven't asked a question. I'm looking for the elements of a ritual to get my body back. But you haven't asked a question. Is the element I'm looking for here? No. Can I find a clue about this element? The books speak. Some are even very talkative. I'd notice, but I don't see any here. There's no one here. Is there a book here? Perhaps, yes. Huh. Okay. So, where would a book be? We can explore around. Oh, what's right here? What do we got? That symbol. I've seen this crate somewhere. Yeah, that was in the ship area, right? Alright, and it's unreadable. The letters dance in front of my eyes, but it does look like words. And we wrote something in the journal. What did we write? Um, what did we write? <laughs> the three portals, those of Paimon Person and Vinya, are now open. They take Luca to the in-between, a strange place, surreal and completely different to anything he's encountered up to now. Um... So I don't think we had any 
extra information besides that. That must have been what we wrote. Okay, so what is this? The desk isn't a work of art, but these pieces are very fine, chosen with taste. Okay, so that looks like the ship area, though. Okay, so what do we got here? I've already seen that arch. I think it was in the library. Okay, and then we have another guy to talk to. This tree looks a lot like the one in the library. Is it the same one? Nope. Are you dead? No, but you're not alive. Yes, this is just a temporary situation. Oh, strange, very strange. I want to get my body back. I'm looking for clues for a ritual. Do you have eternity before you? No, I'm looking for elements for the ritual. I've already found some. Oh, strange, very strange. Does that ring any bells? Yes, of course, yes. The ritual, it's written somewhere, of course. Do you know where, what I have to find? Tell me. Are you dead? No. Oh, strange, very strange. I'm not going to get any more out of him. All right. So it's these little creatures. They're they're weird. They're bizarre. All right. Let's see what else we can find. Okay, we can't go any further up. Oop. And that's the fridge area. What else do we got? Can we do any more down? Alright, so no no more down. So I guess we'll see what's over. Mm -hmm. Okay, so did we... Alright, so now we can go this way. I guess we couldn't go before because we didn't have the other portal unlocked. That makes sense. Okay. Um, what is this? Uh, the candles, the shrine. It's almost welcoming here and nostalgic. We, we talked to you, right? Did they follow you? Who? The demons, the kings of hell, the legions. I'm on my own. I'm trying to get out of this place and get my body back. Is this a trick? A demon's trick? No, I'm human. My name's Luca. And I live in northern Italy. Italy? Italy? Never heard of it. It doesn't exist. Oh, of course. But can you help me? I don't decide alone. This could be a trick. So you do know something. Hush, you're going to draw them here. So that guy's a little paranoid. Alright. Where was the other guy? Okay, there was the other guy. Um, is he going to say anything different, I wonder? Probably not. Okay, yeah, so he's not going to ask any more questions. So, let's see. Where can we go from here? Can we go... What does the map say? Okay, so this is in between all three of the places. Nice. So now we have our portal here. We can go to the different areas. Okay, so I want to... We've got this crate. I think that's in the ship area. So I want, oops, I want to go see if it's in this area. Because I swear thought it was somewhere in this map. Uh, maybe up? Maybe it's near that anchor that we haven't figured out what to do with. Nope. Did the anchor tell us anything else yet? Nope. But we are making progress. We've made significant progress. Okay, it connected our map all up and everything. I know I have seen that. Maybe it was in the storage room over here, though. Alright. Let's see if it was in here. Nope. What is this? Oh, 
that was the access code text that we've already saw. Um, each building seems to have been abandoned in a different area. Era? Why? Damp and decayed. And there's nothing I can do with that either. Yeah. Okay, so... And I can't go up because of the question mark. I think I got that on the map, right? Yeah. Alright. So I know... Maybe it was in the warehouse that I've seen it. Where the ship is. Let me just go over and look. Because I know I have seen the refrigerator in this map. But maybe I'm a building over. Maybe that's the problem. So there is the refrigerator, right? What's over here? Um... If I can go up, let me see if there's anything up. Let's see if I can see that crate. It's not this one, right? Yeah. I swear I've seen it. Maybe it's in the archive. Like maybe I need to go back to the archive now. That could be where I've seen it actually. Because I'm not seeing it immediately here. I'll look around just a little bit more and then I'll go back to the archive just just to see. All right, not here. Not here. And prob probably not buried, but I will also go check the first room, because it could have been there. Anything here? Don't think so. Alright, let's go up and over one. Let's see if we... If we don't see it here, then I'll go check out the archive. Just... Hmm. Okay, so, yeah, let's go check out the archive, see if we have discovered, unlocked anything new here, too. Alright. That looks like a remote. Why is there a remote here? <laughs> um. Okay. I can't can I do anything. A hand cart might be useful. Okay. I've already done that bit. Is there anything else of interest, possibly? Let's see. What was this page again? I, I forgot. This was... Oh yeah, all the different instruments. Am I able to open it? This doesn't look good. Not that it really matters to me, but in fact, but well. And then there's the fax machine, which I still don't, I haven't figured that bit out yet. Unless, I wonder if uh, one of the codex things we had, if it was like a phone number in letters, you know? Let's see, where was it? I mean, probably not. I A T V. I mean, it, that would probably be a stretch, but um, might as well try it. I A T V. Let's see if it remembers it between M U C G. Wait, oh, was, yeah, M U C G Q. M U C G Q. Where's Q? Right here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine characters. Did it do anything? Did that? Wait. No, that was already open, right? Okay. So it didn't do anything. Um. What about the map? The map can't go down supposedly right I've got this page that I gotta figure out what to do with too um, there's nothing over here right yeah it's 
just that my two items that I have for the ritual, there must be a third item. Surely. Um, then we got this crate here. Can't interact with it. And this, I've gone down, supposedly, okay, so I've gone down, supposedly there's a way up over here. Yeah, okay, so I don't know if that's blocked yet, or, or if that's blocked, we can see. Okay, so I, I don't even know if I've been here. I have not. This is a new area. Yeah. Okay. Now I am understanding the map. Okay. Uh, please note. Please do not change the access codes of the answering machine. Uh, a per rolls can be requested from the secretary. All abuses will be deducted from your service credits. To find fax numbers, dial 755. Okay. 755 it is. Seven, five, five. Oh, okay. Not what I was expecting, but sure. <laughs> I got a book. Okay. Um, that was odd. Wonder if it'll do it again. It will. Okay. And then it's going to send me down again. I bet. Maybe. Let's see. Yep. Okay. Well, I guess that's just a hint that I need to uh, get this book. Oh, I bet I have to fax the page up. Okay. Oh, oh. I got it. I got it. I got it. I know what I gotta do. Down, 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 down we go. And I bet we're about to unlock the third air, or the, the third world, as it were, not the in-between. Yes. I gotta possess this and go to the fax machine, right? Where is the fax machine? Right here. 755. Send this up. Wonder if it will work. Wait, what is this? Did I already have this? I'm so confused. All right. Okay, did I actually already have the book here? Okay, so this is the page. What is this? I don't know what this is. Maybe I need to fax this. 755? That's confusing. What is this? I don't even know what that is supposed to be. Alright, but I can't... I can possess one or the other, but... That only looks at it. It doesn't, like, set it out. Okay, let's see if anything happened up there. I wonder if it's the last thing I did. Like, that could be a thing. Like, I may have to fax the page. Although, one would think that... Let me look at this book. Yeah, this book. Alright, what else do we got up here? Uh, at the foot of the palazzo, after Vespers, a familiar figure always held audience. During my many visits to Venice, no matter what the season, she always appeared at the same hour, in the same place, telling me the same tale. It was the kind of fable we tell to children, who perhaps lack wisdom, although I've never been able to judge the result on those rascals. 
She began with the story of a child trapped in a bottle by some kind of spell who enters a fantasy world peopled with strange learned creatures. Fascinated by these erudite monsters, the newcomer allows himself to read every book, listen to every utterance, search every corner of this new world, happy to escape his miserable plight. Feeling more cultured with each step, he wanders happily, slowly forgetting his own story and gaining incredible powers in far-seeing lucidity. The storyteller always stopped her tale at that point, closing her eyes in pain. Then, with a theatrical pose, opened them again, pointing at each child in turn before finishing her story. One day the educated child missed his family, uncivilized as they were, and retracing his steps he realized with horror that time had slipped away, his humanity was gone, his family buried long ago, his body turned to dust. Thus the scholar child was condemned to wander with the other creatures, philosophizing philosophizing on nonsense, forgotten by the world he came from and in which he had so little participated. So that the tale might have a simplistic moral, she always let the children gathered at her feet, somewhere between laughter and unease. I could never stop myself from listening, and still today the tale leaves me pensive. Hmm. I wonder if that was the the crazy guys that we saw in the in-between. The sun's going down. What day is it now? I just want to get out of here. Alright. So I feel like somehow we have to get the page up here. So let's see. If we do 755, what will we get? We're just going to get this page. And then it's going to send us down, right? So what happens if we go down then? the facts this page. Alright, let's see. Can we send it? Hmm. Maybe we have to send this page. Seven five five. It does not want to send the pages, and we cannot go up with the pages. Can we go read that? Well, I wonder if we got it in our codex. Let's see if we got the... Please do not change the access codes of the answering machine. Um, all abuses. Find your fax... To find fax numbers, dial number... Maybe we have to dial pound sign first, I wonder. Is there a pound sign? There is. So I'm just stupid. Seven five five. Now let's try it. O oh, six four. Okay. Did that record in the codex? I wonder. No. Okay. But we have this. Okay. So I wonder, sign 755, so 064-000-963, so what, a, what number is that, Oops. wait, it was uh, 963 was the last one, oh, well, all right, let me <laughs> go back into it. Number sign seven. It goes away so fast. So zero six four nine six three zero six four nine six three. All right, zero six four nine six three. 
that do anything? Can we do that? Zero six four nine six three. We may have to go get the other zero six four the other number six three. All right. So let's go up and get that. See if that gives us a different number. Like we may have to. It would make sense if that just gives you your own your own fax number. Let's see. Okay. So number sign seven five five. Zero six four one eight nine. Okay. The number of this device is zero six four one eight nine three three zero one. Okay, did that did we record that? Um So the calligraphy a page of calligraphy allows Luca to activate a new portal with the astronomy book. Um All right, let me do that one again. So I may have to actually just jot it down real fast. Since it was so kind as to have Annie repeat it for us. So let's see. Let's see if she'll repeat it. So 06-418-93301. Okay. So let's see if we can send a page now. Down we go. One more. Now, I think it might end up being... We'll try this one. I don't know. Could be wrong. Okay, so now this one will be 06... 418... Uh, nine, three, three, oh, one, if I wrote it down right. Are we able to? Nope. Okay. Let's try this one. And let's see if we're doing it right. So, oh, six. 418. We may have to put a number sign in front. That's something I hadn't thought of. 93301. Oh, so let's see. Aha! So it was that one. There we go. So now we should be able to put that one in the book, hopefully. And open up a new area. Okay. All right. Let's see. There is our paper. Nice. And let's see if we can put it in here. Another portal open. Nice. And this time I didn't need any sneering remarks from that loony. I wonder where it will take me this time. There's no choice anyway. I don't want to hang around here. All right. Sunset. All right, we go up on this one, I guess. Where is the exit? Oh, right here. Okay. All right. A chapel? A lot of mess for so little stuff. It's not exactly cozy. It's pretty gloomy, actually. What will I find here, then? All right. So, I feel like we have done a lot of uh, good puzzle solving. We have uh, counter-sigiled two of the demons, 
and we have figured out how to open up this new zone so I'm happy about that we we figured out a lot of puzzles uh, connected a lot on our map so I feel like uh, this is a good place to stop so uh, if you enjoyed this I hope you will come back next week same time and we will explore this strange chapel and what's going on and maybe we'll be able to excise some some more demons I mean where better place to do that than a chapel right <laughs> all right so anyways I hope you enjoyed it and I will until next time I will see you later bye